name is Phil. Today we got an opportunity to be installing a warm tiles cable system. Um, everything comes in the kit. We're going to be using edge strip kits and we're going to use DryTech 4000 as our self leveler to encapsulate the cable um, during the installation. Our first step with all installations is to make sure that you just take a damp sponge, wipe down the substrate so that there's no dust or any other bond breaking materials left on it. Since we're using a self leveling uh, compound, we are always got to use the primer. So I like to just pour it directly out of the bucket here and use this little mini roller to make sure that we have full coverage. Make sure there's no puddles and we're going to allow this to completely dry. Alright, we're back from lunch here. Our primer is completely dried. So now the next step is to actually use our edge strips in the perimeter of the room. They can peel and stick. And with this prime surface, they stick well. So I'll just put them right up against the wall here and press them in. You could simply, with a standard utility knife, this area here is for our vanity, so we don't even have to go underneath here. We'll go right here by the toe kick so that we can bring our wire and have nice warm toes. Okay, this transition from our tile surface to our hardwood uh, we use a strip right here. It'll contain the self-leveler to stay in our tiled area. Another use for our edge strip kits is to provide a, a barrier around our toilet collar. It'll keep our wire a safe distance also away from our wax ring. We actually use our edge strips here to provide a barrier around our heat duct. It can easily be cut out after the self-leveler is dried. Step is to actually secure the metal strapping that will be holding the cable. Our electrician gave us two conduit leads here, so one will be for our cold lead, and the second one will be for our floor sensor. Okay, the cable actually fits very securely and very simply into the metal strapping. And we're keeping about a three inch increment here between the wires. We're able to use the plastic clips that are provided by Warm Tiles on each of these loops to hold it so that we can draw it tight and keep nice parallel lines. One important thing is do not forget the floor sensor. It goes between a loop and uh, we had to channel out a little hole here in our underlayment to make sure that the end of it sits below the self leveler. And we'll just secure it now with hot glue. If you're ever in a doubt of any part of the installation, make sure you check back with the installation manual. Alright, we've mixed up our self leveler. Now it's time to just pour. Pour it away from the strips and allow it to flow up to the strips. Okay, we're here on the second day. Our self leveler has completely dried the hard. Look at the transition here at our um, edge strip kits and the self leveler tile setter. We'll have no problem whatsoever setting tile over this flat surface. Okay, as we said, now we can let the self leveler has dried. We can easily cut out the excess and expose our heat duct. 
All right, we're done here. All we had to do is get this floor uh, ready for the tile center. We want to thank our friends at Warm Tiles for uh, supplying the cable that we used here. Our friends at Laticrete for the DryTech 4000, which is a self-leveler. And if you have any questions about the Edge Strip Kits, make sure that you contact me personally, phil at edgestripkits.com. I'd love to answer any of your questions, field any of your comments. It's time to enjoy this floor. Thanks a lot for watching. <laughs>